everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, it seems like the farther, I mean, we're now into February, people are starting to look ahead to spring. And those are things you guys can predict uh, what's going to happen. A little bit, because the spring always is going to bring more listings, mm -hmm. a more active market. You know, during the winter with some of this weather and the snow and the ice, it makes it a little bit harder. Nobody wants to list their house when you can't get a good picture and it's kind of ugly right. out. Nobody can do drive-bys. So spring tends to be a more active time and we're starting to see people preparing for that already. We've got a show full of new listings of people hoping mm -hmm. that more, you know, the market gets active in the spring. And then um, my real estate minute is all about how to prepare if you're ready to list for the spring. And there are certain things that you can do to kind of get yourself an advantage. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, somebody's going to come and look at your house. And then you, as a realtor, you know what people are looking for because a lot of times you represent the buyer or the seller or both. So a lot of people can lean on you to say, hey, what can I do to make my property more attractive to a buyer? Exactly. And it's making it more attractive, you know, on curb appeal, making mm -hmm. it so they can see themselves in the house. But it's also making it to make sure that the house is going to go with certain types of financing or if there's any issues that may come up and cause a problem once wow. you're actually in a deal. So a realtor can help with all of that. And you guys will do that. And you'll talk more about that in your Real Estate Minute. I will. All right. As she said, we've got five brand new listings. Uh, so none of these are anything that's ever been on the show before. And all of these, ironically, are in the city limits of Pikeville. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one right off Town Mountain Road. Yes. This one is on Williams Hollow. And if you're familiar with Town Mountain Road, you go about a mile or so up Town Mountain and Williams Hollow will come up on your right. When you turn off on Williams Hollow, it goes straight for a little bit and then mm -hmm. the hollow actually turns up right. So you actually can't even tell there are houses up in here until you're, you're back that way. But this house, is, it's a great mixture. We talk a lot about the country living in the city mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And that is what this house is going to bring to the table. And I love the picture that, that you've got of the yard because as you said, it's got a very large a fenced in yard and you're still standing on the inside of the fence when you took this photo. Exactly. I, that was the reason that I walked all the way to the opposite end of the yard for this picture is because I wanted to show how big mm -hmm. the yard space was. So you have plenty of room for pets, kids, if you wanted to do any kind of pool, mm -hmm. anything like that, you do have the space for it. And on the inside, I mean, you've got room for your family too. You've got three bedrooms, 1.75 um, bathrooms, a little over 1,600 square feet. So that is, you know, plenty of space. Uh, and on the pictures on the inside, you can see you've got that spacious living room. The kitchen is nice. You've got the little, the bar area. So a lot of attractive things in this house. There is. And the great thing that you really can't tell from the pictures, that living room picture, the kitchen is open to the living room. Mm -hmm. And so is the dining area. All that space is really big and open. So if you like an open floor plan, this is one that would really get your attention. Now the, the price on this one, uh, is 149000 so that's not bad considering you're getting this in the city limits of Pikeville on one acre of property. The MLS number 109877. Now Jennifer, this is your listing, so let's give the Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. Okay, now moving along on the next one, it's just down the road really on, the, on Bypass Road. You go up Harold's Branch behind the hospital and you've got this listing. Yes, this is one on Carter Drive. Like mm -hmm. you said, you're going up Harold's Branch right behind the hospital. You're going to go about two miles. Harold's Branch takes a sharp turn to the left, and Carter Drive is actually the road that's going to be straight in front of you, almost that you would almost want to stay on anyway if you were uh, driving on Harold's Branch. And this one on the, on the outside picture, I mean, you can tell right, right off the bat, you've got a huge driveway mm -hmm. um, for parking extra vehicles or, you know, if you had a boat or anything like that, you've got room to park that there. You have plenty of space for that and you actually, the carport, the picture is a little dark <clears throat> on the inside, but it's actually a full three car carport. And this is a ranch home, so you know right off the bat coming into it, you're not going to have to worry about steps. And, and for a lot of people, especially if you're an empty nester, you're downsizing, you're getting a little bit older, or you've got any kind of issues with mobility, uh, ranch homes are attractive for those kind of people. Absolutely. And this is, this is a house that you're going to drive by it and you're going to think I'm a little bit crazy for saying that you've got over 3,000 square feet. 
We have over 3,300 square feet. Yes. This is one you can't tell how big it is from the road. So I always tell people to do drive-bys, but on this one, keep in mind, this house is huge on the inside. It's one that you right. really need to walk in. And my favorite thing on the inside of the house, you have a formal living room. Mm -hmm. They did a very large addition on the back that is a really nice rec room. It's got plumbing run for a bar. It's got a private oh, wow. office back there. And that's the part that you really can't see from the road. You don't even know that part's back there. But it is a really, really nice space that makes it a very functional house. And then I want, before we close out this one and move to the next one, I do want to mention this one does come with a guest house. Mm -hmm. So, and I asked you before we started filming um, if this is one that somebody could possibly rent out and do income, and you said absolutely. Absolutely, and when you drive by it, you're going to see the guest house just off to the right. Mm -hmm. It has a small living room, bathroom with utility, kitchen area, and then a bedroom with a closet. So it's a perfect setup for kind of a studio type apartment great way to have some extra income. Well, and help pay your mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. I Absolutely. mean, anytime you can buy a new house and say, I'm gonna buy this house, but this over here that comes with it is gonna make part of my mortgage payment. That is attractive. Now, let's give your email address because this is your listing. Okay. Email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, now the next listing is the same seller and it's on the same road, but like you said, there's some property in between, so they're not adjacent but the same seller does have another listing for sale. Now this one is strictly investment property. It is, and you could do it multiple ways. If you wanted to live in one of these and pay your mm -hmm. mortgage with the other two, absolutely a possibility. Um, right now it's strictly investment property. This is one, it's actually got three units okay. on the property, right there on Carter Drive, so you're still in the city limits, right behind the hospital, and you've got a double wide that is a three bedroom, two bath, wow. a single wide that sits up on the hill. If you do a drive by the single wide can be tough to see. Mm -hmm. So I recommend you go past the double wide, turn around and come back and it's an easier to view the single wide. And then there is a small one bedroom apartment that also has a separate driveway. Right, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw the price on this one, 135,000. So mm -hmm. that is one of those that's gonna make you take a double take because you're not ever gonna be able to purchase pro half an acre of property with three places to live on it for under $140,000 and know that you can probably very easily make that mortgage payment back. And the great thing, you've got city utilities on this property, mm -hmm. so you're not worrying about septics or anything like that. And then each unit has private parking, which is also very important for having tenants and that kind of stuff. Even if you maybe not be in the market to look for investment property, with the price on this one and if you've got a little bit of extra time on your hands, um, this would be attractive. But then again, Red Brennan Williams offers those services as well. So someone could purchase this and hand it over to you to manage. Absolutely. And again, brand new listing. So this one has not been on the market very long. No, brand new on the market. And again, if you want to um, give the Pikeville office a call, mm -hmm. we'll be more than happy to give you some more information. We've got income information and that kind of stuff that we can share on this one as well. Okay. That number is 606-437-2333. All right, now moving, um, let's go a little bit higher in elevation yeah. for the next two, the last two listings. And this one's on Chloe Ridge, which is a very popular uh, subdivision in town. It is. These next two are both in gated communities. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more executive home mm -hmm. style, these next two are going to have that. The first one's at Chloe Ridge, like you said. And um, when you get up to the stop sign at the top of Chloe Ridge, you're going to take a left. Okay. The house will come up on your right. And the great thing about this one is they really took advantage in the living room. Mm -hmm. The living room is a two-story living room. Oh, and wow. it's got windows, kind of floor to ceiling mm -hmm. that really allow you to sit in the living room and look out. Plus, it allows in a lot of light. So you just have a naturally really bright and airy living area and a layout to the first floor. So this one is, is including your below grade and your above grade, which is your basement and, and then your living area. You're looking at 4,000 square feet. So mm -hmm. this is a huge home. Four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And they've just finished the basement. There's a lot of possibilities down there for workout space and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Anything you could want to do. Wow. Now the price on this one that includes a two car garage uh, is 539000 um, like she said, in a gated community, the executive style home with all the square footage and built in 2006. So it's a relatively new home. 
If this is something you're in the market for, definitely give Jennifer a call. Let's give your email address one more time. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. Now, the last home that we're going to talk about, again, another gated community, another elevated home with mm -hmm. great views. Now, this is in the Northmont neighborhood. Correct. And if you're familiar with Northmont, mm -hmm. you're right across from Bowles, that area. Right. You're going to drive up on the hill, and this is going to be when you get to that main intersection of Northmont, you're mm -hmm. going to take an immediate left on Northmont Point, and this is the first house on the left. So you've got convenience, you're in the city limits of Pikeville, again a gated community so uh, any of kind of safety concerns this kind of takes care of a little bit of that. Um, and this one again another executive style home over 4,000 square feet, 4,200 square feet to be yes, exact. Yes, and it actually surprised me. Not that the house looks small, mm -hmm. but I just was shocked at how, especially the second floor, they really used every single bit of space. So this is one that most of the bedrooms have private bathrooms. Oh, wow. Um, you have, of course, a master suite with a private bathroom and that kind of stuff. A large rec room that, again, perfect for game room or anything mm -hmm. like that. And then the thing that actually sold the current seller on this house is the size of the kitchen. The kitchen actually has a, a multiple islands and cabinets that are just extra. You really have to see the kitchen. Right. Anybody who likes to cook or or has those big family gatherings or anything like that is going to absolutely fall in love with the kitchen because you said you know, like you said, it sold the last buyer mm -hmm. when they bought it. They're selling it now and they're saying, hey, you really got to show this kitchen. Exactly. The kitchen is a showstopper. And then, of course, you do have an in-ground pool with this one, mm -hmm. which is a very private in-ground pool because you do kind of go towards the hill. And it's a really, really serene area that is hard to believe exists in downtown Pikeville. And this is another one of those where you're going to be able to see the front of the home through mm -hmm. a drive-by. But the way it sounds that you're not going to be able to see everything. So a drive-by is always good for that first look just to see if you're interested but you can't make a decision unless you actually are shown the property. Exactly. This is one I would definitely recommend going in. Okay. The price on this one, $624,900. $624, but like we said, in the area, in the community, with everything you're getting, all the square footage, the pool, uh, definitely worth the money if this is the market you're into. Actually, you've got two homes that Jennifer could show you. Uh, in one showing. And I'm sure you Absolutely. do that a lot. You'll say, hey, I've got two or three that may fit what mm -hmm. you're looking for. And that's actually our preference. If you give us an idea of what it is you're looking for, you know, if we can go see three, four, or five houses in one day, one, it gives us a better idea of what you need, mm -hmm. and two, it's probably going to give you a much better idea of what you need. So it's a great plan to do it that way. Well, we have shown you all kinds of property and all kinds of, of ranges of price today, and all these are in the city limits of Pikeville, but you guys are in several counties. So always remember, go to that website, rbandw.com. You can see everything they've got and get phone numbers to get hold of any realtor that you want. As we said at the beginning of the show, we're getting into that time when people are going to start listing their homes and Jennifer's going to have some tips for you right now in her Real Estate Minute. As we get closer to spring, we also get into a popular time of the year to list property. If you are considering listing your property this spring, here are a couple recommendations to get your property ready. Prepare the outside. During the winter, our yards won't be green and picturesque, but that doesn't mean you can't clean up the outside. Clean out gutters, clear dead flowers and plants, and declutter outside storage. On the interior, declutter, freshen paint as needed, and do a deep clean that you can easily maintain throughout the year. On both interior and exterior, repair anything that is known not to be functioning, like a leaky faucet or a gutter. As you prepare to list your home, contact your local Red Brown and Williams office to have an agent visit and give you feedback on any additional items that might make your listing even more competitive on the market. Thank you for watching another episode of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'll see you again soon.